I just read a cool article about FDA approving stem cell therapy to treat patients dealing with coronavirus has been heavily impacted by the coronavirus. It's just an example of things that the stem cells can do, uh, the impact that it has on the immune system to really turn it on to fight off things like viral infections, but also repair tissue that has been inflamed or irritated uh, or impacted by, uh, by a virus. And uh, what's interesting with the coronavirus, and this is just an example of what happened in many different conditions, is that you have the virus going to tissue, triggering the immune system uh, to uh, become active. And if the immune system is properly active, it takes care of the issue. But if it becomes overactive, it becomes overinflamed, and that impacts that tissue. So anytime you're dealing with overactive immune system, you're dealing with a condition that is inflammatory, or you can also consider it like autoimmune. You know, the immune system is, is too hyperactive in that area and, and attacking that tissue. So what's interesting with stem cells is that they, uh, they really don't always go where you want them to go. They go where they're most needed. And the signaling uh, is actually your inflammation or when the immune system is too hyperactive. That then it makes the stem cells migrate to that location to start to heal that area and then also to modulate the immune system. So as it's healing, then the immune system's thinking, oh, I don't need to send as strong an inflammatory signal. Or it says, oh, I don't need to attack this tissue anymore, you know, what, whatever tissue that is if you're dealing with autoimmune, uh, because the stem cells are actually uh, healing this and calming uh, the inflammation down. So it, it is really cool what stem cells can do. And stem cells, they are something that can become any kind of tissue. So wherever you have an injury, they can become that tissue to heal that tissue. In addition to that, they secrete a whole soup of different chemicals. So it's like the, the most perfect pharmacy that you can ever dream of that get to the location. And, and the stem cells are very location uh, specific, which means that the soup of chemicals it secretes, you know, if you're wanting to heal the heart, is different than the chemicals are secreted for the kidneys or for a joint or for the brain or for whatever tissue it is. It becomes very specific. And as I said, it is guided by inflammatory, it's guided by signaling in the body that, that makes it move to that location. So how do you get stem cells? Well, here at our center, the Carlfeld Center, uh, there are several different ways. I mean, you can uh, support stem cell production so through you know, things like hyperbaric oxygen chamber. Uh, we all also have intravenous laser therapy. Uh, or, and also we inject, we use intravenous stem cell therapy. We're actually, uh, in, we inject it intravenously. And, um, and of course, at that time still, we can't really tell the stem cells where to go. I mean, we can uh, use some mechanisms to, to help to try to guide it in that direction, but uh, they still have their own mind and they're still guided by whatever signaling that's in the body. Uh, but at the same time, what we do here is that we kind of juice up the stem cell activity that we've introduced intravenously with the hyperbaric, with laser, with intravenous uh, nutritional uh, substances. But as I said, then, then there are also other ways that you can activate stem cells uh, that are much more affordable. And you, you have, uh, there's a, a patch that we started to use here at the Carpal Center, and it's actually a patch that activates the stem cells. So it, it actually turns on the factory that spits out stem cells. So you have all these stem cells that are in the body and they're not active. So what this little patch does is actually turns that on. You know, it turns on the production of it. And once they are turned on, when you produce more of these stem cells, they can then go to where they're needed. Whatever, uh, whatever it is that you're dealing with, they can then go and start to heal that. And does it cure any disease? No, it doesn't cure any disease. Your body cures a disease. Your body is the doctor, but what we want to do is we want to give it the tools that it needs in order to be able to achieve that and to support in the production of stem cells uh, that becomes very important. And uh, so these, these little patches, uh, it has some kind of crystalline technology in it, uh, some, some amino acids, some salts, and you just apply that into different areas, whatever area that, where you need to put it. 
and it, it supports then the production of stem cells. And again, you, you might be able, you might put it right here, but the stem cells where, where we're thinking you need have the healing might be over here. And it's, it's interesting is that they actually did a study on a, uh, they did a study on a rabbit where they injected stem cells in one location and they had uh, the rabbit's leg was, was broken so they and they uh, put a dye with the stem cells to see where it was going and they actually saw that all of these stem cells migrated to where the broken leg was you know it, it didn't go to you know where the injected didn't accumulate there they went to the area of need and so even if you may not be perfect at placing at the right spot you're still turning on stem cells you know stem cell acti uh, activity and activating the stem cells uh, turning on those factories and and a, a good spot to do that we I have my patients put it on it's just right kind of right by C C7 about right here and you can also put it right below the navel those those are really good general spots and I've seen patients I mean uh, that have been using it their their brain just turns on uh, they might have been dealing with anxiety depression or you know brain fog or lack of energy or whatever it may be you know, it, it's like they, they're just turned on or, or whether it's been a, a joint issue, what, whatever, whatever it is, you know, stem cells help to heal things. And to use a, the technology like this, where you're able to uh, turn on the factory of the production of stem cells, that's really cool. So, and we are offering that here at, at the Carlfeld Center and, and I'm really excited. I've really seen uh, patients, uh, it has traumatic impact on patients. Um, but then again, it does not treat any disease, it supports your body's ability to heal itself. And, and that is always the case.